Hi guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. Let's go over this week's schedule before we jump into this jewelry jar from Savers. So, we got a lot going on this week. I'm gonna be doing something every single day. So, Monday is today, jewelry video. We're going to be opening this Savers jewelry jar, okay? Tomorrow, Tuesday, I am going to be unboxing a thread up DIY designer rescue box. So the videos will launch at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Wednesday will be another jewelry video. Thursday, I'm having a live sale on my channel at 7 p.m. Eastern with my husband Kyle and Roy Horizon Picks. It is going to be a live sale with the three of us. We're going to be doing buy it now items and auction items. It is a variety sale, so we're gonna be selling a little bit of everything. Hard goods, vintage, jewelry, purses, you name it, we'll probably have it. A ton of t-shirts, graphic tees as well. So stop by and see, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And Friday is the usual purse sale video. Uh, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So mark your calendars. I will put the link to Thursday's sale in the description box so you can click it and then click notify me so that you get a notification when we go uh, 30 minutes before we go live and then again when we are live. Okay, so this jewelry jar was $34.99. I just weighed it. It's six and a half pounds. Of course, the jewelry jar weighs a little bit, but you know, we're just gonna say it's six and a half pounds. Um, $34.99, they did have a few of them. I picked this one because it seemed the best out of all of them. They usually do have jewelry jars at my savers, but they do not look good at all. But these looked kind of good, plus, I saw a couple things that kind of piqued my interest, like that, this cloisonne thing sticking out on top. You know, we got a couple things in here that look kind of cool, you know, and intriguing. So um, I decided to grab this one. So we're about to find out what's inside and if we get through it relatively quickly, I have a small jewelry lot that we'll go through as well. So. If you see anything that you're interested in purchasing, please email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. All my information is always in the description box. If you have any questions, please in the email send me a timestamp and a brief description of the items you're looking to purchase so I know what to invoice you for and that I invoice you correctly. Um, I do not take requests in the comment section, email only. And since this is a new week, I can hold your items for the week, but you just have to pay as you go. And then I will invoice you for shipping at the end of the week. Um, you have to, I have a 48 hour payment policy. Um, I, you know, I expect payment in 48 hours. So please keep that in mind. There's a big hair. We're going to throw that out. Okay, so let's pull out a few things. And I also picked this one because it was like over full and, you know, like heaped over the top of the jar. So I was like, oh, yeah. All right. So let's bring you guys down a little bit and see. All right. Well, this is going to be an automatic no. What did they cut the band to fit the watch in there? That's really doo-doo of them and it's all kinds of banged up anyway so let's do a focus check quick and we're going to put that into scrap let me get a bag i have a bag right here for scrap well i should say craft all right so this looks like it was an earring too bad because it's really pretty so that'll be uh crafting uh, all my crafting items are a dollar. Uh, this, I don't know if it's supposed to be a ring. I guess so. Let's see. It's not magnetic, but I don't think that it's gold. 
Yeah, because I do see some wear on the inside. So this is a size nine, a nice little, you know what? I think I'll keep that. It's a nice little stacker ring. All right, I'll keep that one. <laughs> Looks like we have a lot of cufflinks. Um, this one looks like it's copper. We'll hold on to that, see if there's a mate. There's this cufflink with some snow obsidian on it. Some of these can be gold or gold filled, so always check that out uh, for markings. This one just has a patent number. We'll see if we get any of the matches. Here's a little angel pin. That one doesn't have any markings. Just do that for a dollar. We have a little brooch right here. It looks like somebody painted this. That'll just be a dollar in crafting. We have a little hair barrette, kind of like a little bobby pin barrette. That'll be a dollar. All right, so we do have many stick pins, so that's cool. I got. Um, I do have a stick pin collection, but, you know, I'm not looking to really add to it right now. I have a lot. Okay, we have a marking right there. So let's see what that says. 120th, 12K gold filled. And it looks like it just says INC. Not too sure what that is. There is a little bit of wear, so we'll just do that for $4. We have a little double heart stick pin. Do that for $2. This looks like, oh, it's broken. But this looks like it would be sterling. Let me turn on Presti the Presidium to test these stones. Now I wonder I wonder if this could be fixed. Let me see something. Because you really should be able to just close this like so, right? It does say 925 right here on the clasp. So that would be nice. Oh, and there's a marking right here. It says 925 Thailand. So we're going to test. We're going to test it really quick. Yes, we are. First thing we're going to test. Okay. <clears throat> All right, she's blue. Of course, I didn't bring any makeup rounds over here, the little cotton rounds, so I'll have to grab some in a minute. Okay, let's bring over Pressy because it could be possible that these are diamonds. They do put diamonds in sterling. Um, not the best quality diamonds, but they do. They do. All right, let's turn this back around. Let's see if we can get, oopsie. I think they're just CZ. Yeah. Okay, so not bad, not bad at all. And let's get a measurement. So that was an easy fix. It is a seven and a half inch bracelet, sterling silver and CZ, really nice condition. And I will do this for $20. All right, let's see what this jumbled mess is. A bunch of stuff stuck in it. All right, so it is broken. 
So I'm going to take this whole thing and put it into craft. So that whole little jumbo will be a dollar. We have another cufflink. At least the cufflinks are in good condition. Could maybe even sell them all in a lot at the end if there's even mates. This one's, oh, this is a Monet. That's a Monet stick pin with the floor de lis. It's actually in really nice condition. So let's do that for $6. That's really nice. This one does not have any markings. We'll do that one for five. <clears throat> we have an earring, but this has got some peeling on the pearl and that is really green. So you know what? I'm gonna put that right in the garbage because that will transfer to other items. We have a uh, screw back earring. We can hold on to okay, that. So let's see, this looks like a little mod, modern earring. It actually looks like it could be sterling, but I don't see any marks. We'll see if there's a mate. <clears throat> there's a little tie tack. That'll just be a dollar. We have this cufflink. We'll save to see if we have a mate. We have a little cross ring. I don't think this would be sterling. I do see a little bit of copper coming through on the back. It is a size seven. We'll do that for $4. <clears throat> this one says, Ameri Amerique? Amerique? I've never heard of that. Um, the pearl is all peeled though, so we'll just do that for a dollar. Here's a little angel tack pin. That'll be a dollar as well. This is a pretty cufflink. I like that. Um, I don't see any maker marks, so we'll hold on to that for the mate. Here is a glass earring. We'll hold on to that. Wow, I see a lot of cufflinks in here. I did, I did not see all of these. They're like in the in like the dead center of the jar. All right. Wait. Oh, here's this other one. Okay, so we have one mate. We'll put that off to the side for now. I think I'm going to end up doing a lot. So let's um just hold off and we'll look at all of the cufflinks together. So like this one says patent pending. We'll see if we have any mates and I'll put I'll start pulling the mates to the side. Here's a little flag. Not sure what flag that is. Tack pin dollar. This is pretty. I don't see any maker marks. I don't think we're missing anything. There is a little bit of a, of a discoloration right there. So we'll do that for $3. Oh, cute. Look at his googly eyes. Googly woogly. This is a Dane craft. Okay. So I will do that for $8. There's a little snowman tack pin. Do that for a dollar. Ooh, this is cool. I like this um, stick pin. That might be petrified wood. Not sure. Very, very pretty though. So we'll do that for $5. That's an earring. Very interesting. We'll hold on to that for the meat. Here's another little tie tack. Do that for a dollar. I might end up putting all of the tie tacks in with the um, cufflinks, who knows? All right, it does say something on the back here, but it's kind of gooky. Yeah, I do not know what that says. That says NR, so that's Avon. 
So we'll do that for $3. Here's another little men's jewelry piece with the little um, pin and bowling ball. We'll do that for $2. This says patent pending. Don't really know what that is, but that'll be $2. Here's a another cuff link that has J on it. Put that over there. Here's a really pretty uh, clip-on earring. No maker marks, but we'll hold on to that. Here's a piece. It looks like it broke off for something. Maybe we'll hold it and see if we have the piece that it came from. Ooh, here we go. Oops, here's a nice and pretty vintage rhinestone brooch. Uh, leaf design, very, very, very pretty. A few of the stones look like they are dead, which means water got behind them and discolored it. <clears throat> but it's still pretty, so we'll do that one for eight. I see a little lizard. Cute. He has a little heart on his back right there. He is missing some enamel, but not too bad. We'll do that for three. Here is a, a natural stone pendant, probably moss agate. Do that for $5. This we'll just put into craft. We have another little tack pin. What does this say? EPA. 30 year service, do that for a dollar. I think this is the other screw back, but it's broken. So those will go into crafting for a dollar for both. Do we have this mate? No, I don't think so. Okay, we'll put that to the side. Got one earring, we can hang on to that, it's in good shape. Here's another little barrette, but that's all got discoloration, so that'll be in crafting. Here's another little angel tack pin. What I, I think I said a dollar on the other one, so we'll do a dollar on that one. That one's cool. That's a cool uh, cuff link. We'll hold on to that. Got a nice porky pin right there. <laughs> that's really pretty, though. I think it's just an acrylic rhinestone. There's a little bit of discoloration, so we'll just do $3 on that one. Pretty little bro uh, brooch. This one says, oh, this is a Roman. Okay, that one's really cute. We'll do five on that. <clears throat> Here's a teeny little gold tone ring. It's kind of like a light gold tone. Oh, it is, it is adjustable. So right now it's sitting at about a five and a half. But as you can see, you can adjust it. So we'll do that for $3. Ooh, look at that brooch. How pretty. So pretty. Love it. Let's do $6 on that. Very pretty. All right, there's a ton of like littles. <laughs> I think they're all cufflinks. Okay. That one has a mother of pearl on it. Ooh, look at that. Ooh wee. So I don't know what you would use that for, but this could make a really cool piece in your display, jewelry display, and you know, on your dresser or something if you would like. So let's do four on that. This is an earring. So we'll hold on for the mate. Ooh, this is what I saw, one of the pieces I saw through the jar. How pretty, those are carnations. You know, a lot of people don't give carnations enough credit. They always smell beautiful and they last so long. So I think they're awesome and I would rather these over roses. Not for nothing, but I think roses die the fastest. I don't know what it is, but this is an Avon. Carnations, so pretty. And it is tangled up. Let me see if I can get it out quick so we can get a measurement. Give me a second. Let me 
Let's see if I can get it. Okay, almost. Come on, go through here. All right, we may need to pause you. Yep, give me All a right, guys, I finally got it. It is in beautiful condition. So let's get a measurement. It is a nine and a half inch drop. Beautiful Avon carnation necklace. Let's do this for $12. I really like it. And it's a perfect necklace for the upcoming spring. Gorgeous. Here's a little earring. What's this black cord thing that somebody had for $20 and then on sale for $9.98? Yeah, uh, this is going to go into crafting. It's a headband. Craft $1. Here's another little tack pin. Two bucks, I think I said on the other one. This is just going to go into craft. It's one of, I think that's one of those necklaces that clip onto clothing. Here's a little uh, American flag tack pin. Some of these can be gold or gold filled, so you always want to check. What does that say? Oh my gosh, see? Look at this. <clears throat> Whoops, as I drop it, hold on. I can't get close enough. <laughs> you guys are gonna kill me, okay. Ten K. Oh yeah, baby. So made in USA. So if anybody wants this ten karat gold flag tack pin let's see if there are any listed on ebay 10 oops not 19 10k flag tack pin look at that 55 dollars you guys <laughs> that's the exact one i have Let's see if there are any sold. Whoops, I didn't mean to click on that. Let's see if there are any sold. I didn't mean to click on that. Let's see if there are any solds. No solds. Okay. I don't really think it's worth $55. So I will offer it to you guys for $25. Okay. It's pretty cool though. See, you always got to check those. Always check them. See, here's a bunch of these that just have these little, like, hooks, these little circles. So these are going to be all in craft. These are all acrylic beads, but they're pretty cool. Okay, a dollar a piece. Same with this one. That's acrylic as well. Here's an E. Cuff link we'll hang on to. Here's just more stuff for crafting. So all this is a dollar each. That as well, that's also acrylic. All right, so here are more cuff links. We got a G, we got, this is something I saw in the bag, in the jar. Here's another little tack pin, but it looks like it's missing the chain part. So we'll just do that for a dollar. Did we find this one? Yeah, okay, so we have another mate. We'll check that one. You know what, let's check that one now for maybe a diamond because that sometimes can happen. So let's bring Pressy over. I'll do um, like a price for um, the cufflinks separate and then I'll do like a lot price. So if somebody wanted to buy all of them, 
But let's see, in the meantime, that one's really cool. Look at that one. We can test. That one's a swank. We can test. I think that's just a rhinestone, though. We can test that one. This is going to go into craft. That's just acrylic. Okay. Nope. Not even glass. Not even glass, but that's okay. We'll put them with the other two. Let me make a separate pile for these. Okay. So we'll put you back. We'll hold for that guy. I guess we can hold for that one. See, like something like this looks like it could be gold. Or maybe gold filled. It does say something. I have no clue what that says. It is way too worn. But we'll see if there's a mate. Here's the other mother of pearl one. Where'd the other one go? Um, I know I had it. Where, oh, where did it go? Here it is. Oh, it's different. It is different. Okay. So we'll hold on to that. That's, look at that cuff link. Whoa. Hold on to that one. Here's a little earring. Hold on to that. Oh yes, here's that little cloisonade thing I saw stuck to the tape. I'm trying to get all this other stuff that stuck to the tape. All right. Wow, talk about a big earring. Look at this one. Guess we can hold on to that. That is huge. All right, let's look at this. Here we go. Cloisonne stick pin. Gorgeous. A little bit of wear on the bottom here, but super pretty. We're going to do that one for seven. Oh, these are earrings. Sweet. So these are actually just acrylic. Very pretty though. They're supposed to like look like a uh, agate slice. Very pretty. I'll put new backs on them and we'll do those for five. We'll hang on to that. That's pretty. This says Variety Club 1998. Pretty. $4. Here is, what's this say, HMK. Perfect for St. Patty's Day coming up. It's an earring, so let's see if we have the mate. We have this hair barrette. This says smile, we'll do that for $2. There's an earring, but it's very worn, so we're gonna pass on that one. We're gonna pass on these as well. They're not in good condition. This looks like it's a broken piece. Oh, it's actually, a bracelet but it's all oops there we go it's all stretched out and broken but it would be pretty to repurpose so all that will be a dollar oh oh it's a what is this a bracelet yeah but it's all jacked up Missing a stone. I don't know if we have it in the bag, but we can, I mean in the jar, but we can see. This is a necklace with two keys on it. It's by American Eagle Outfitters, AEO. There is a lot of wear on it. Mostly on the chain and um, clasp, 
It's a 15 inch drop. So I'll only do that for $3 since it has some wear. Okay. These earrings are going to be a pass because they are very damaged. See, this one doesn't even have the fur on it anymore, the feathers. <laughs> Here's another little tag pin. That's a good one. This is a really good one. I wonder if that's worth anything. Let's see. Let's look that one up. eBay. And we're going to do don't. Don't tread on me tack pin. Okay, maybe not. Okay, no problem. So we'll just do that for five. That's still a cool pin. Uh, we have that little earring. We have this little earring. We have that earring. That's really pretty. That's definitely vintage. Hold that one. That one, we have to play matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Okay, we have this tack pin. It's pretty. Don't see any maker marks. That'll be $3. Oh, that's a broken peacock. That'll just be a dollar. I think it might have been a ring at one point. Ooh, see something like this could be gold. So let's zoom in on the ear wire here because my camera is at a different angle today. So that's why I'm having a little bit of trouble here. All right, I don't see anything on that side. Let's look on the other side. Don't really see anything there either. Let me look closely. No. Well, let's see if it's magnetic. Okay, so it is magnetic, so it's not going to be gold. Probably should have tested that first, but it's still in good condition, so let's see if we have the mate. That's a nice earring. We'll hold on to that. Here's the other piece of that. I mean, I'll give you all the pieces if you want. It'll all be a dollar. That guy's really worn, so we'll pass. Got a little penguin brooch. Two bucks. This chain is going to be craft with this. I mean, that's an all right earring. That one's okay. Here's another dollar. Guess that one's okay. Hold that one. This one I can tell has a lot of wear, so we'll skip that. That we'll look into. That one. Okay, so craft. We have this mate here, so if you want little safety pin ear earrings. It does say 925 there, but it might just be the ear wires, so we'll do three bucks on those. Love. We'll hold on to that. All right, and then this guy I guess we'll hold on to as well. It's double-sided. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. You know what? Let me cut this tape a little bit more so as I'm pulling things out, it's not getting caught in the tape. There we go. All right, let me just look through here because all this stuff we're going to pass on because it doesn't look like it's in good condition. Actually, we can save that flower earring. It looks nice, that little guy. Okay. Splish splash would be taking a bath. Okay. Um, I don't know. Two bucks. This is gonna go into crafting with that. And those. 
Ooh, here's a clip on. Ooh, that's a little gaga on the back there. But that's really pretty. I think that's cute. Let's hold on to that. Here's a little tack pin. Did we have this mate? I don't remember anymore. I don't think so. Here's a little shoe clip. This is cute for a clip. Very cute. We'll do five bucks on that. That's a good collection piece. Here's this double-sided earring. And you got green on the other side. So we'll do those for four. Look at that little teeny little clip. It's cute. All right, so we'll hold all those. This is craft. We'll hold that one. Here's that other earring. Two bucks. We have this guy, little Rivoli. And you're playing matchmaker here. All right, these guys will skip on because they're the post is all is all janked up. All right, lots of teeny little studs. We might be doing a lot with that. This will be that's crafting. This will be five dollars. Really pretty dichroic glass pendant. Here is a clamper bracelet, but. Got a little bit of wear, a little bit. It is a six and a half inch, and I'll do that for $4. Stretchy, these are all acrylic, $4. This is a pendant, ooh, this is sterling. Nine, two, five. What does that say? 925 Italy. Nice. That is cute. All right, let's test that really fast. It's like a little flower. I do have chains. I think I have um, a 16 inch chain I can put on it. Yep, it is sterling. I'm going to have to go get my uh, cotton rounds. Okay, so um, if you just want the pendant, I will do just the pendant for $15. But if you want me to add a 16 inch chain to it, it'll be $25. Okay, so let me know in the email. Here's more. These are glass. They'll be in crafting. I'll do the like I'll do all of them for a dollar. That's crafting. That's going to be crafting. That's crafting. All right, we got a lot of earrings here so I'm gonna have to start being a little particular about which I'm keeping and what I'm not that's in really good condition purple and pink and red rhinestones silver tone brooch five dollars all right so let's pick out all of the craft items earrings that may not look like they're in good condition okay so now we have all these earrings that we're going to hold on to for mates. Here, these guys have a mate. These are Avon. These are so cute. Look at these little clip-ons. They're the little teapot from Beauty and the Beast. They are just plastic. Avon, $5. Ooh, these are pretty. Mother of Pearl. And let me see if that stone is anything. Might be nephrite. It is nephrite. It does say something on the back. They're 120th 12 karat gold filled. They are clip on and screw back. Ooh, these are wells. 
So Wells is printed right there. Wells is a pretty good vintage brand. See Wells right there. So did we see the other one? <laughs> Not yet. Okay, so we'll put that to the side. Here's another little stick pin. Do that for five. It does not have a base. There's a lot of littles here. This one is really pretty. I think that says 925 on it. Oh wait, here's the other one. Yep, S925. So these are a Vermeil with enamel and pearls. Super cute with the original backs. So let's do these for $15. Love those. Those are adorable. Here's another mate I found. Ew, that needs a new back. I will give new backs. These are really cute too. Do those for four with little dangly pearls. Oh my gosh, look at that one. It's like a little bouquet, a little flower. That's adorable. I don't see the mate yet for it. A little turtle, that's cute. We have all these pearls. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to tell all those apart from each other. Here is a screwback set, pearl, and little rhinestones. Do those for three. This guy, we're going to pass on. He's got all gunk on the ear wire. Pass on that. It has discoloration. What's that say? I, I see 925, but I don't know what else that says. So we'll wait for the mate. That is really pretty. This is an Avon. This is a little tack pin. Excellent condition. We'll do that. Oh, it's a hat. We'll do that for five. Uh, let's do it for $3. Some of these are going to, like some of this is going to go into craft because they're just not in good condition. Okay, this is a little clip-on. Oops. That's in good shape. We'll hold that. We have a heart. We have a star. Hold on to those. That looks like it's probably brightened. We have a little leaf. All right, some of these we're gonna pass on because the posts aren't in good shape. That one's kind of pretty, we'll hold that one. Okay, but let's see, what's this one? A little Christmas tree. You always gotta look at them at least because they could be gold, they could be, you know, sterling. We'll hold that one, it's cute. The rest of these are going to go bye-bye. Okay. Look at these big mamas. These are earrings. Super fun. They're actually in really good condition. We'll do those for five. Get ready for Christmas. <laughs> Let's get this earring mate out of here. These are pretty faux... Um, tortoise shell, they are acrylic. We'll do those for four. Let's see. Okay, these are not magnetic. Don't know if they're going to be sterling, but we can try. And you know what? We're going to test this Alex and Ani right here, too. Best. Oh, these won't even scratch. Oh, there we go.
All right, so we have a sterling silver, Alex and Annie, Alex and Annie, but these are not sterling. These measure in at seven and a half inches. So we'll do those for $3. The sterling, Alex and Ani. You can always remove the best, like the half a heart for the best friend if you wanted. Um, and I'll do this one for eight. We have a nice pendant. This is Aaliyah Sophia. Oh wait, I have a, I just found a chain. Oh no, I found a premier design chain, Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> so we have a really pretty silver tone Leah Sophia pendant. Love that, $5. That we're gonna pass on this and that. Here's another dichroic glass pendant, $5. Craft more of these beads, all, all for a dollar. This we had the mate right here. No maker mark though. Good condition. Do those for three dollars. Clip ons. Wow, that's pretty. Oh, but it's broken. Poop. Deli, stop it. It says Pisces on the back, but it is broken and it has some enamel wear. So I'll just do that for $4. Here's another, what does that say? Jeez Louise. I cannot make that out. If anybody knows what that says, please let me know. Picatello? Well, we don't have the mate yet, but that's really pretty, very art deco style. Here's another earring, that one. Here's a snowman. These are really pretty. Uh, this is pretty, this is an Avon, love that. Craft, craft. Look at this. A pink elephant. Oh, he's so cute, but he's missing enamel. Poop. Well, the back is fine, though. He's cute. I'm going to do $4 on him. Cutie. All right. Let's keep going. All right, so here's that other guy we'll be crafting. I'll do the two for a dollar. Here is a long silver tone, very lightweight chain. It is Germany on the clasp. So let's do a little measurement here. It is very long. It has a fold over clasp. And it is a 28 inch total, I mean 28 inch drop, 28 inch drop. We'll do that for $5. Okay, some of these are gonna go into craft, all of this, that, these, that. Wow, look at that earring. That's gonna go into craft as well. So all for a dollar each. Oh, here's the other snowman earring. Those are in good shape. So those for four bucks. There's another, ooh, that's cute. That's in really good condition. No maker mark though. We'll do that for five, very cute. Uh, like these little earrings are gonna go into craft. A little bee mine, super cute. Do that for $4. Craft. That says 925 on the clasp. It is an eight inch. We'll do that for $6. 
This one we're gonna pass on. It's not in very good condition. All right, we have a little angel tack pin with the dangle star, very cute. Do that for a dollar. Not sure what this is. And I'm not sure what that says on the back either. No idea. Does this register as anything? No. All right, so that'll just be craft. Here's another little angel pin, $2. Little red dress. I don't know, a dollar. Here's more um, studs. That looks like it says 925. Look at that. Pretty. Mother of Pearl with like a bluish hue. Yep, 925. So we'll hope for the meat on that one. A lot of pearl earrings. We'll have to check the um, posts on those. Little butterfly. Don't know what that is. We're going to pass. This one we're going to pass on because the post is yucky. Here is a tiger's eye earring. We'll hold that. Ooh, a little ladybug tack pin. How cute. Cutie. Dollar. That's cute. A little earring. I mean, there's a lot of little studs in here. These are cute, you guys. It's a little leaf. We had this guy right here. We'll do those for $2. I'll put new backs on all of these um, that don't have any or, or are gross or whatever. That's KC, Kenneth, Co I mean, <laughs> K yeah, KC, Kenneth Cole, maybe. All right, so all these little guys. All right, so let's get some more out of here. We're almost done. We'll probably just do this jar for today's video and I'll save the other little lot I have for Wednesday because I didn't realize there were so, so many teeny little items in this jar. Okay, so we got this little thing. This is like a ceramic piece. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. That'll just be a dollar. Um, we have cute little Winnie the Pooh. How cute. Remember guys to check the sold list. I forgot to mention that. Check the sold list in the in the comment section when you're done watching the video. Refresh the video, go out, come back in, so you can see the most up to date list. I will be um, updating it with every sale, so check that sold list in the comment section. And all my information is always in the description box if you ever have any questions. So we'll do the Disney Winnie the Pooh um, five dollars. We have that earring. We can hang on to. This is a little button cover. Do that for a dollar. We have that earring we could hold. A little, um, that has some scratching on it. We'll just do that for a dollar. A little tack pin. Let's get some of this bigger stuff out of here. We have a piece of paper that's random. We have this guy, but he's all tangled. I don't know if I'll be able, I'm gonna get this purple bead and put it in crafting. Whoops, I just dropped it. Oopsies. All right, so this guy is a toggle closure. Pretty cool little toggle. All these are glass beads. It's only about five and three fourths inch around. So maybe for repurposing, I'll do that for five. Then we have a B. This is another Avon, very good condition. It is a nine inch drop. I'll do that for $5, that's cute. Hold on that, get some of these beads out of here. Crafting. These are like that polymer clay crafting. This necklace looks pretty.
We have this guy, vintage rhinestones, $2. This one's pretty. Little rose tack pin, $2. Alright, let me try to get this untangled. So this is a pretty interesting jar, you guys. I must say. All right, this might take a minute. I think this is a multi-strand necklace. It's actually really pretty and very well made. There's no maker mark on it, but it's got all these rhinestones. How pretty is that? So I'll give you a total length measurement. It does have an extender. So it can go from 18 inches to 21 inches total length. And we're gonna do that for $8. That is really pretty. Nice, substantial weight, well made. Do that for a dollar, a little brooch. That says, Handmade USA, $2. Oh, here's this other earring, yay. So we have the vintage rhinestone earrings. We'll do those for five. Another little breast cancer tack pin, a dollar. This is an earring, we'll hang on to that. This looks like it has a mark. This is Nine West. That's very pretty. It's a little bit tangled, but you get the point. Um, it does have an extender, which looks like you'll probably need it because it looks a little short. Yeah, it's only a seven inch drop, but you have a two inch extender, so that's really pretty. Do that for five. Good condition. Here's another button cover for a dollar. More of these beads. What's this little guy? Wow, he's old. He's an oldie. Um, I think the clasp is broken. And I think he's some kind of plastic. I don't know. I feel like he might be something a little special. So let's maybe try to Google image search him. See, look at that. I knew it. He's Bakelite? What? No. Oh, I just made a I just made a sale. So yeah, this is um I knew it. I knew it looked like something special. So, um, I mean, we can, we can test it. Let me go grab my stuff. Got my semi-chrome, got a Q-tip. We're only gonna need the littlest bit. Let's see, littlest bit. All right, so semi-chrome is pink. And if you rub it onto something that you think is Bakelite, if it is Bakelite, it'll turn yellow. Now, black Bakelite, if this is Bakelite, it, it may not change because black Bakelite is the hardest to, to test for, but we can try. Oh my gosh, I think it is. Let's keep going because there's a lot of dirt on this. <laughs> I don't know. I mean... Usually it's like significantly yellow. I'm gonna go with no. But I think it is a true vintage item. Now, I don't really think, you know, obviously I'm not gonna charge 58.45 for it because my pin back is broken the clasp 
but I will ask $15 for it. Just got to clean them up a little bit. Super cool. All right. Let's keep going. I did wash my hands while I grabbed everything because I was feeling yucky. All right. We have the tiger's eye earrings. Very pretty. Five dollars. So we have a little bell. I'm not. I don't remember. We had this guy though. Uh, where was he? Oh, we did have. Was that the bell? I think I just put that there. I think we had the stocking, but I don't know where it went. So I'll check later. That says 925 on the post. This is a sterling earring. Gorgeous. Um, oh yeah, 925 right there. So we'll hold on to that. Hopefully I have the mate. That's gorgeous. Here's this little candle. Do those for $3, studs. Here's another dress tack pin, a dollar. And that's those are just shells. Um, okay, so we'll skip on all this stuff. All right. I don't do illusion necklaces. They never keep their shape, so this will be a dollar in crafting. Looks like you have some, uh, I don't know, dyed shell. I can't tell if they're glass, but it's only a dollar. What is this pretty thing? Lennox. That is beautiful. So I'll do that for $8. That is gorgeous. Oh, what is this? <gasps> this is like a concho um, bracelet. Oh my gosh, it's broken though. <sighs> we'll see if we have any of, the, any of the other pieces. This is also broken. This will be a dollar. That's pretty. It's a little... Um, Heel tack pin, two dollars. It's a lot of tack pins and um, cufflinks. It's another little tack pin. It's pretty, three dollars. Here is an Avon breast cancer tack pin, two dollars. All right, this. Let's see. This we're gonna skip on. This is like a Heshi bead. I don't know what these are. Heshi, Heshi shells. And it is a eight inch drop. Do that for five. We have this pretty little bracelet with the mother of pearl chips that says friends on it with a toggle. It's a seven inch bracelet. We'll do that for five. Um, another one, dollar. The Variety Club, again, uh, four dollars. Jay Benton, Bad Hair Day, that's cute. I've never heard of Jay Benton, so let's look that up. Jay Benton, right? Benton brooch. Okay, so let's do that for $5. Cute, very good condition. That's, we're gonna pass on that. All right, this is, this is stressing me out, you guys, all these littles. So I'm gonna get all these out of here, these beads. Here's another button clip, a button cover for a dollar. This looks like it's sterling. Yep, 925 on the ear wire, so we'll hope for that mate. Ooh, 
he is cool. What is that? That says 925, and that looks like black coral. That is cool. Let's do a Google image search on that. Okay, not, <laughs> not much came up. That's close. Let's maybe try it again. Nah. All right, well, I think it's cool. And if that's real black coral, I'm gonna do this for 20 bucks. Very cool. Another one, a dollar. All right, let's um, push this smaller stuff to the side for now. Here's another little tack pin. This is another Avon, $2. And I'll go over all the, the um, earrings at the end. These are, again, Avon. Five dollars. It's another little pin, Angel. Two dollars. It's another tack pin, a dollar. Um, just see if there's anything else in here. Okay, so we're gonna push the rest of this to the side. We'll check it out after. Let's get the rest out here. All right, so that's the end of the jar. All right, we have a nice big scarf clip. Do that for $5. Nine West. Um, it is, it does have an extender. Seven inch drop without the extender. We'll do that for four. Nana. Little brooch, we'll do that for $2. It's got some wear. We have a stretch amethyst chip, $4. Another little tack pin, poinsettia, $2. Ooh, here's this other meat. Now, where did it go? Because there's a lot over here. <laughs> here it is. So these didn't have any marks on it. They are really pretty clip-ons. Four dollars, silver tone and marcasite. Here's a little brooch that is so cute. We'll do that for four dollars. It doesn't look like sterling, but this is all probably glass. Seven and a half inch drop. Do that for six dollars. This looks like a keychain. Oh, there we go. With a D on it. Five dollars. Oh, cute. Oh my gosh. This isn't signed. What the heck? I love it. $8. Love that. It's another little pin. This says JJ. So we'll do that for five. This one. Got some mother of pearl rope, all kinds of interesting things going on. The total length is 18 inches. Total length, 18 inches. We'll do that for five. Ooh, this might be garnet. Let's turn Pressy back on. <clears throat> so we'll do this one first. Oh, geez. National Lock Company. Oh, I thought this said, 
<laughs> I thought this was like a prison key at first. I don't know why I thought that. I, I saw, maybe I thought it said lockdown. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but that's pretty interesting. So it says National Lock Rockford, Illinois. And then there's like a code on it. I'm not really sure what that's about, but... Uh, it's a seven and a half inch. We'll do five on that. Oh, this is pretty. It's just like a carved arrowhead. Maybe we can test that too. All right, press these on. So let's test this that we think might be garnet. What happened here? There we go. Oh yeah, that's a garnet. And let's try this one. No, glass. All right, so this is garnet. It is missing something there, but you can probably just remove that. It does say 925. It is beautiful. It's a seven and a quarter inch. I will do that for $12. Gorgeous, somebody grab that. This will do for five. This is gonna go into craft just the way it is. <laughs> this looks like lapis. Lapis and Sterling silver. Right there, 925. So we're gonna check these little beads in between. Okay, and the clasp. This might need to be restrung because it's only on this little teeny little string that's like glued to the clasp. Oh yeah, it's a sterling. Very cool. Okay, so we have a sterling and lapis necklace where all these little beads in between the lapis are also sterling. But you see the, the string, how it, you might wanna redo it because it's kinda, kinda janky. All right, so the drop is 11 and a half inches. And I'll do that for 25. Here's another little <clears throat> vintage brooch. That is adorable. $5. I don't know what these are. Little pendants maybe, dollar each. That we tossed earlier. Dollar. Dollar. How cute! JJ, $5. How adorable is that? All right, we got this pin, a dollar. All right. Oh, we have this guy. Look at him. Ha! <laughs> He's a little adjustable ring. He is sitting at only a size three and a half, though. We'll do that for a dollar. All right, so I think we just have left all these. Oh wait, here's a mate, a match. Dollar. Um, I think we have all these singles now. So, and we didn't find the match. I mean, the rest of this either, which sucks. Oh, okay. So that'll just be in craft for a dollar. It's not sterling. All right, so. I don't really know. I mean, I can put all the studs together and just give you guys one price because I don't really see any other mates. I mean, we have all these pearls that might be a sterling silver post, but we didn't find, <laughs> boo, 
We didn't find this one. So I'll just do this one for um, $8. That stinks. Didn't find the mate. Didn't find the mate for this one either. So we'll do five on that one. Um, what was the other sterling? This was also sterling. I don't see the mate. So we'll do that for three dollars. And all these, there's no mates for any of these. Like this one was really pretty. There's no mate. So, um, if you guys want to like give me like a uh, send me an offer for like all the studs or all the you know all the earrings, we didn't find a mate for this one either with sterling, so we'll do that one for five. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do because none of these have a mate, and that means that none of these cufflinks had mates either so we just had these two that had mates so i'll do five a piece and all these were singles so i don't know if you guys want the single earrings shoot me an email um if you want the single cufflinks shoot me an email send me an offer remember to check the i mean if you want just a single earring you can screenshot this and circle it I'll do like two for a dollar, okay? Um, and yeah, I guess that's it. That really stinks because there was a lot of cool ones, but what are you gonna do? All right, so let me know what you guys think. I thought it was a really good jar. Um, I don't <laughs> don't normally get any sterling in the jars, so it was nice. They had two of these. I probably should have picked up the other one, but hey, you never know, right? So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Give me that thumbs up. Subscribe right here if you haven't already. It's free. Remember this week's schedule. And I will put the link to Thursday's live sale in the description box so you guys can click it and then click to notify yourself uh, with a notification. Also, clicking the bell over here and clicking it to all will give you a notification every time I make a new video. All right. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you check that sold list in the comment section. Go out of the video and come back in right now so you're able to see the most up-to-date list. Thank you, thank you again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.